All right, thanks, guys. Coming off another pretty good night in the uh, Major League Baseball. In the Major League Baseball. Yeah, the MLB. Uh, who calls it the Major League Baseball? Come on. But anyway, coming off a great night in Major League Baseball, 13-9 and nine in our leans for MLB. Uh, we also split in the NHL, went 2-1 and one on Patreon in our three premium plays. Uh, we once again... Uh, shit the bed in our NBA leans going one and three. All right, let's go ahead and try to bounce back in the NBA with those leans. Beginning with Tuesday night's action, we're going to start with the Sixers taking on the Raptors. Eight o'clock Eastern tip-off in Toronto. The Raptors open the betting as the six and a half point favorite. Total at two twelve and a hook. And since those markets open it, uh, open this one up, we are seeing. Movement on both the spread and the total. We saw movement downward on the spread. A little fade of Toronto when it comes to the number. We also saw movement downward on the total, down to 211.5. So once again, the Raptors open 6.5, down to minus 6. Total open 212.5, down to 211 and a hook. 53% of the consensus is leaning toward the Sixers. 68% is shaded toward the over. Right now, Philadelphia is plus 210 on the money line. Now, if you like the Sixers to get the job done in this spot here, it's going to be tough for you. Toronto's 11-5 against the spread in their last 16. They're also 13-4 straight up in their last 17. They rank fifth in the NBA in offensive field goal percentage. They're also fourth in home defensive field goal percentage. Now, Philadelphia... They've had a pretty good, uh, a pretty tough time covering the spread when traveling. Uh, they've covered just 20 out of 45 games away from home this year. They also rank 19th in road points allowed. And here's a stat you need to pay attention to: Philadelphia, just one in 14 straight up in their last 15 in Toronto. Now, total wise, Philadelphia six and zero to the under in their last six. Toronto 9-1 to the under in their last 10. Give me the Raptors, minus 6. And the under, 2-11.5 in that matchup there. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for Tuesdays, NBA, NHL, and MLB action. But before we go ahead and get into that, we got some shout-outs to get to. So let's go ahead and get it done. Uh, first, leading off, Milwaukee Mike Jones. What's going on, man? We also have Miss Soul Glow, Stephen Lewis, Ant Rod, SMC Justin, Pongs Allo, uh, Pappy Longwood, who uh, has been with me since day one, since the beginning when I had zero subscribers and uh, nobody gave a shit except him. And now people care. It's great. It's a great change. Now people are coming to me for advice instead of me going to them and getting completely ignored. But uh, I'm not a spiteful guy. You come to me for advice. If I see your message, I'll give it to you. Uh, Jefferson Steelflex, Crystal Pert, straight to the point, Jonathan T, Fish Captain, Jake Bobby, Jake, I, I didn't see you yesterday. Uh, normally, uh, when I do the shout-outs, it's for folks who had commented in the previous day, so I just I, I must have missed your comment, but Jake Bobby, what is going on? Uh, YGO808, my buddy YGO808 out there, which I think your name is Sean. Uh, next guy is uh, Proline Master. We have Terrence Warren, C. Dinger, A. Yeltz, LG, uh, Jordan Rabowski, Vinny Smoove, Cousin of JB Smooth, uh, Peyton Sports Girl, who uh, I, I'm not sure, uh, Peyton, if it, I know you have a YouTube channel. I don't think you have any content though. Uh, so um, I really don't know what you're bringing to the table. Although uh, what I do know is that you're bringing great comments, great commentary to the table, both on YouTube and Patreon. I uh, got to give a shout out to Philip Andrew Munoz, who actually requested that we broadcast even earlier as he is in the Philippines. Um, I don't think that's happening, Phil. I <laughs> also want to give a shout to Nenad Markovic, Jeremy Fad Kalimpo, and last but not least, 
representing the Beard Gang, my uh, man, Matt May. What's going on, Matt May? All right, guys, let's go ahead and hop back into some more lines of personal leans. I also got to remind you to check me out on my website, patreon.com slash Brock Page. Once again, we went 2-1 in our three premium plays yesterday. A lot of good stuff on that website. We have daily plays, different memberships. We're doing excellent in many different categories there. You can check that out on my record, on that site. It's a part of the free content. Just go to it. It's in the post section. Patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link is in the description section below. Let's get into some more free content right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Blazers, Nuggets. <clears throat> 10.30 Eastern tip-off in Denver. The Nuggets open minus four, total 215. We're seeing movement upward on the spread and downward on the total. Minus four and a half and 213 and a hook. Once again, Denver open minus four, up to minus four and a half. Total open 215, down to 213 and a hook. 52% of the consensus is leaning toward Denver. 72% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Blazers are plus 160 on the money line. Portland's failed to cover in four out of their last five. They're also just one and six straight up in their last seven in Denver, really struggling in the Mile High City, which has been the case for many, many teams this year uh, because Denver has gone 38 and nine straight up at home this year at the Pepsi Center. Unbelievable. They're also 28-19 against the spread in that same category. Uh, here's what's kind of remarkable. They're 48-15 and 15 straight up as the favorite this year. So when they're supposed to win, they get the job done. Uh, Denver also ranked seventh in home offensive rebounding. They're also first in home defensive rebounding. Now, total-wise, Denver is 70% to the over in their last 10. Portland, 71% to the over in their last seven. Give me Denver minus four after buying the hook and the over 213 and a half in that matchup there. All right, let's go ahead and slide into some uh, Stanley Cup playoff action. And uh, we got one game tonight, and that's going to be uh, game seven. Dallas Stars taking on the St. Louis Blues. Eight o'clock Eastern puck drop in St. Louis. The Blues open minus 140, total four and a half. The total opened at a very low four and a half. And since those markets open this one up, not a whole lot of surprises here as we're seeing a nickel fade of St. Louis on the money line. We also saw movement upward on the total up to five flat. So once again, St. Louis opened a dollar 40 down the minus 135, total open four and a half up to five flat. 65% of the consensus is leaning towards St. Louis. 57% shaded toward the over. Right now, Dallas is plus 120 on the money line. St. Louis plus 200 on the puck line. Once again, this series is tied up at three games apiece. Now, Dallas is 6-3 and three straight up in their last nine. They're 11-4 and four straight up in their last 15 when traveling. They rank second in the NHL in goals allowed. We're looking at just 2.4 goals per game in that category there. Now, St. Louis on the other side, well, they're 1-4 and four straight up in their last five at home taking on Dallas. If you're into historical trends... They're also 16th in home goals scored and 20th in home goals allowed. Now, total-wise, just one out of this series six games actually stayed under five goals. So with all that in mind, I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. I'm also going to lean toward Dallas advancing. Give me the Dallas Stars plus 120, getting the job done as the dog on the road and the over. Five goals in that match up there. All right, next and final slate for the show, it is going to be Major League Baseball. And we're going to begin with the Chicago White Sox taking on the Cleveland Indians. 610 Eastern first pitch at Progressive Field. The Indians open the betting as the $1.60 favorite total at 9.5. And, and since those markets open this one up, we're seeing a whole lot of movement. We saw a 20 cent fade of Cleveland and movement downward on the total. Now minus 140 and nine flat. So once again, Cleveland opened a dollar 60 down the minus 140. Total open nine and a half down the nine flat. 62% are leaning Cleveland, 81% shaded toward the over. Right now the White Sox are plus 130 on the money line. Cleveland minus uh, Cleveland plus 130 on the run line as well. 
Now we have uh, Lucas Giolito for the White Sox. Uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez for the Indians. Giolito's 2 and one with a 5-3-2 ERA. Rodriguez comes into this game with a, a very low 2-1-3 ERA. Uh, 